The idea of a robot with a personality is as old as science fiction itself. Everyone, especially me, wants like a Jetson-style Rosie that can cook and clean and just sort of take care of the house. And I think we'll eventually get there, but before we do, there need to be steps and milestones in robotics, engineering that help us get there. In July, I had the chance to fly up to San Francisco to meet Vector from Anki, the little robot with a gigantic personality that I think most importantly is not gonna break your bank and is surprisingly useful. So I do want to thank Anki for sponsoring this video, but all opinions here are totally my own. Alright, so I'm going to talk a lot about what Vector does, but if throughout the video you're interested, Anki's actually launching Vector on Kickstarter as a way to sort of get him out early. So he'll be selling to the general public for $249, bucks, but backers can get him for $199 with early access to the SDK and some other added goodies. I've got a link down below if you want to check out the Kickstarter page, and if you're interested in robotics, I, I think you should. So when you first look in Vector's little digital eyes, you start to see the bigger picture. They are animated and surprisingly filled with emotion. This is a robot you can actually interact with and one you might actually want to. So unlike Anki's last robot out in Cosmo, Vector doesn't need you piggybacking on your phone CPU to run. In fact, the only time you're ever gonna need your phone is just to set the thing up. And once you do, all the processing is actually done on Vector himself via quad-core Snapdragon processor. So I'll call him and go over to talk and you know, you can do things that you would expect. He'll answer questions. Anki told us they're not trying to compete with, with Alexa, they're not trying to compete with Google Home, but you can use it in sort of similar ways when it comes to question and answer. What you'd expect if the robot you can't talk to interact with is not overly useful. Uh, they're also telling us they're going to be doing things like home automation, so you can tell it to turn on your Philips Hue lights, for example. Uh, and you can use it for setting a timer in your kitchen. There are a lot of use cases where it does overlap with the sort of home assistants, but it's, it's got a bit of personality. You can't, like, fist bump Alexa. Hey, Vector, fist bump. You can ask him sports questions, math questions, and even oddly satisfying, challenge him to a game of blackjack. If he wins, he's kind of a jerk and gloats, and he's a sore loser, kind of pouting when he's beat. If you pick him up, he gets pissed. If you knock him over, he'll yell at you and pick himself back up. It's these little kind of subtleties that make him seem more personable. So his high-res color IPS display brings this personality to life. He's got a touchpad on his back, and if he's like acting excited or annoyed or really anything, you can pet him to, to calm him down. And you can almost see the relief in his eyes. It's, it's kind of cool, although I'm not sure I want many people to see me petting a robot in public. So Vector does more. You can introduce yourself to him, and he can learn your face and voice, and he'll act all excited when he hears you come home. He can scan his surroundings so he knows where he's at, and surprisingly, he's pretty good at it. During our demo, he came dangerously close to falling off edges, but never once did. Anki told us they want people to not have to worry about him, just kind of leave him alone. He'll charge himself, get OTA updates, and explore all without you having to do anything. Vector was designed that if you just set him up and then left your house for a year, he'd still be working and exploring when you got back and still happy to see him. Vector's equipped with four mics and an HD camera with a 120 degree ultra wide field of view, something which screamed huge privacy risk to me. I was able to directly ask Anki and they told me no images or audio recordings ever leave the robot and they all stay encrypted on Vector himself. They went into a lot more detail on how different components are broken up inside to prevent external hacking. Most of it kind of went over my head. I was satisfied with the answers though, but whenever I bring something into my house with mics and cameras, I'm obviously a bit skeptical. The SDK Anki is launching is going to be pretty significant here. Users will be able to make him do pretty much anything. If you want him to dance when he plays music, you can do it. If you want him to watch TV with you, you can build that too. It's, it's pretty neat and feature rich. So saying I felt an emotional connection to a robot is strange to say out loud, let alone on camera, but Vector feels oddly relatable. He makes eye contact when he looks at you. He gets super pumped when he gets to set a timer or just be helpful. And he's generally just fun. And I want to be crystal clear here, no one actually needs this. But I definitely want one, and the best endorsement that I can give a product is to put my own money behind it. And I'm absolutely backing Vector on Kickstarter. I think my kids now have a blast just running around our house with him. I think you guys will too. 